over here today to demonstrate the new 15 XPC. Yeah, the new compact unit. So we're looking forward to seeing this thing in action and um, Michael's going to show us around it. So we're going to have a look at the Cat 142 horsepower engine turbocharge that we're running them into now. We'll have a look inside. Same motor what's used in the 18 XP. So we're using um, basically the overrated engine in the 15, same as the 18 HD. HP. So decent sized machine. This is our new, uh, basically brand new this year, come out now. So full LED box in there now. Nice and sealed unit. So no water, no condensation. E still easy to use. Basically just wait for preheat. We can start the machine straight away. We've got a new, new system in here this year too, scan for startup. So new employees can basically scan in with their phone, shows them the operation and a video, short video of the actual machine. Beautiful. So be able to get new staff to be able to sort of scan on, and basically, basically we operate the machine straight away. So we've got a new fuel saver button now, what comes on the new machines. See that there? So basically, it, it picks it up. Basically, when you stop feeding the machine and sitting there, basically idling away or revving up, it'll basically cut out, go back to idle within a few, like within a few minutes. It'll pick up that you're not feeding through the rollers, and it'll actually cut the machine back down to idle. Keep pushing the button and get it back to 2,800 RPM. What did you think about it, Greg? Yeah, as I said, like I, I like the, the override function here. Mm. Um, that one here. Yes, mate. And yeah, the rest is pretty standard. I, I reckon like hasn't changed much in terms of controls or anything. Mm. Just a bit of getting used to it, I guess. Like you know, to operate the old, the older models. Yeah, the older model because it's got the four-way control bar now yeah. instead yeah. of the three-way. Yeah. So yeah, it's taking guys a little bit to get used to it. Yeah. But uh, yeah, once you sort of used it for a whole week, yeah. I mean, you're using it for the first time, so yeah, and it, it did pretty good. When you winch up the logs, sometimes they get stuffed up on here. Yeah, on the bump bar. And it took me a while to like just use that thing here just yeah. to override yeah, them. Yeah, override. Everything yeah. kind of stops in, in that moment, but yeah, yeah, that's um, a whole reason it's yeah there now. Yeah. Just to basically yeah override that just enough to get it into feed. Yeah, and then it's right to go. Yeah, I'm really liking this throttle up here this is nice it's all it's everything's here the station is here to to work with and the emergency stop buttons buttons here on the side rather than there they get smashed on the back 
Yeah. We've just received a couple of new ones, haven't yeah, we, Michael? Yes, you have, yes. <laughs> now it's got the metal plate over the rear tail light, so stop smashing lights with branches. And oh, yeah. Bandit have recognised where the problems were, and it looks like they've, yeah. they've ironed the problems out a little. Yeah, ironed them out, tried to sort it out a bit more, and yeah, listen to what people are saying out in the field, and um, if we can adjust to it and do what they, um, they're asking for, we'll, we'll get it done. All right, Michael, All right. again, Thank thanks very, very much. much. Yep, and... Um, we better get back to the field and get into the get into action. Thank you. See you later.